we hope, by the time we get into the second quarter of 2021, we will have enough vaccine that we will have progressively vaccinated people so that when we get April, May, June, we'll be able to get people in the general population starting to get vaccinated. So a guy like me who's not in a particular high right. risk level, middle of the year, you think? Yeah, I would think probably by anywhere between the end of the first quarter and the end of the second quarter. Yeah. So then we have the problem of the people who say they will not or probably will not take the vaccine. And that number has actually increased rather right. than decreased in the past six months or so. Um, I think for the people who are resistant because they didn't trust what anybody was saying, you talked about that, that, right. that showing an early efficacy of these right. trials. But, but the people who just think, no, I don't want to take a vaccine. I don't want anybody to tell me to take a vaccine. How do, you, how do, you, how do we move the needle on that? Well, you've got, you've got to continually try and outreach them and do what we call community engagement. I mean, there are going to be a core of people who will not take a vaccine no matter what you do. I don't think you should give up on them but I don't think you should necessarily expect. But there's a larger group of people who just probably have misinformation and don't understand the process. And what we've been trying to do, myself, Dr. Collins and others, we've been trying to explain clearly what the process is of making a decision that a vaccine is safe and effective. It's an orderly process. It's done by independent groups that have no allegiance to an administration or to a company or to anyone. They make that decision. They look at the data and determine, is it safe and effective? Then there are layers of advisory committees. There's the career scientists at the FDA that I trust. There's the scientists like myself and Dr. Collins who will be looking at the data. So it's going to be a very transparent process. I don't think people who are anti-vax fully appreciate how transparent that process is. They may think there's something that's being hidden, people are trying to put something over on them. We need to reach out to them and make them realize that that's not the case. And it's to their benefit and the benefit of society to get vaccinated.